There are many reasons why you might want to wrap a horse's legs. One is protection, another can be support, to reduce the chances of swelling after a workout, or to hold a wound dressing in place to guard against infection. What you will need are clean dry legs on the horse, a set of clean cottons, which should provide good cushion, and clean dry wraps. These should be non-elastic unless you're applying a pressure bandage. If a wound is involved, you will also need a product to clean the wound as recommended by your veterinarian, and a gauze pad or a sterile absorbent dressing that's not going to stick to the wound. Make sure your dressing is big enough to cover the entire wound. Always crouch so you can get out of the way if your horse moves suddenly. You will want to start with tightly rolled wraps and bandages as this will make it easier to wrap neatly. It is recommended bandages are at least one inch thick and wraps are at least two inches wide to help reduce the chance of restricted blood flow, uneven tension and bowed tendons. Start the stable cotton on the side of the leg, behind the cannon bone and before the tendon. Always wrap tendons in. This will be clockwise on the right side of your horse and counterclockwise on the left. Do not begin or end a wrap over a joint. The horse's movement can loosen the bandage and this can endanger the horse if it becomes unwrapped. Wraps should be free of wrinkles and have a stovepipe appearance. Wrapping too tightly can cause pressure points and injury. Ideally, your Velcro will end on the outside of the horse's leg, so it cannot accidentally brush the wrap open. If you choose to use masking tape to cover your Velcro, make sure it is the same tension and not tighter than the wrap itself. When you've completed your wrap, Make sure you can fit two fingers in at the top and the bottom to ensure correct tension. Your cotton should cover just below the knee to just above the fetlock with a quarter inch showing at the top and the bottom. If you wrap one leg, you should wrap the opposite leg as well for support. The same person should wrap both legs to ensure even tension. Make sure your horse becomes accustomed to moving in the bandages before you leave them alone or attempt to load them in a trailer. Remove wraps daily to check the legs. Remove the Velcro. Unwrap swiftly from hand to hand. Never try re-rolling a wrap as you are undoing it. When you are done, rub the legs to increase circulation and assess if rewrapping is required. If so, use clean bandages and wraps. <laughs>